C-O-L-O-R. All right. There you go. That's the best I can do. But um, they have them for all different amounts of pencils. And I just happen to like them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this on the bottom going up. I'm getting lighter as I go up. Okay, because I don't want her to look like a cat, but right now it's cat eyes. Now, when you look at somebody, not necessarily at yourself in the mirror because there's too much light, but when you're looking at somebody, the top part of the eye appears darker. And that's because all these lashes are hanging over. So here now, I'm going to go all the way over getting lighter as I come down, but I am going to do full coverage. I'm going to color the entire eyeball. And what that does now is that gives me two shades of green, but I'm making sure it's darker up here at the top and then blends as it comes down. Do you see the difference? just because I was able to do that brighter green first. Then as I bring it down and blend and go over the other green, it's going to give us a different shade. Okay, heavier at the top. Lighter as we come down. But go ahead and cover the whole thing if you're using a bright green and don't want her to look like she's got some sort of cat eyes. Darker at the top, lighter as I'm coming down. Now, let's say I got them really dark. I could come back in with my lighter color and do some blending and it'll spice them back up again. Okay, but I don't want them as bright as they were when I first started. So I'm really kind of good with that as green. I may use some more of those greens in the background somewhere. I try to repeat the colors some. Okay, all right, well that's it for this time. Um, don't give up on me, I am still trying to get back, back into this more and more. Let me show you again what we've done today. There's her crown, and there's her face and her skin tones. All right? Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.